Ever wish you could go shopping in a royal closet? Kate Middleton wasn't always a duchess, or a royal for that matter. This former art history college student knows a thing or two about putting together a wardrobe on a budget. Although the Duchess of Cambridge always looks gorgeous, her outfits and fashion choices aren't that far out of reach for regular royal fans. Kate often chooses affordable, off-the-rack looks that anyone can buy and even re-wears pieces for different events. Want to dress like a real-life royal? Just take a look at the Duchess's many incredible outfits. The wedding of Catherine Middleton and Prince William, Duke of Cambridge, in 2011 was watched by people all over the world, marveling at the modern love story fit for fairy tales. But what really drew people to their screens was what Kate wore. Her Grace Kelly-style lace dress, veil, shoes, and even perfume were admired and desired by everyone watching. Kate's dress was perfection. Viewers of the televised wedding event immediately recognized that the new duchess would be a trendsetter to watch. The V-neck lace long sleeve dress with its ivory satin bodice expertly blended traditions and trends, a skill that Kate would soon prove to be a master of. The dress was padded at the hips of the long skirt and had a dramatic tapered waist, showing off the bride's figure. Everyone wanted a copy of the Alexander McQueen gown. Even Kate's scent was selling out after the wedding. The bride apparently wore white gardenia petals by the brand Illuminum, and the brand had to quickly issue a statement that orders for the popular perfume were on back order and would be fulfilled as fast as possible. It's not surprising, since most brands can't keep up with orders once Kate touches them. Her accessory choices have a similar impact. For a royal engagement photo shoot, Kate wore a pair of white topaz Hope egg earrings by Lynx of London. She wore the pieces of jewelry again the day before her wedding, and sales of the earrings quickly doubled. The shop even had to create an international wait list for orders from as far as Japan and New York. For the engagement announcement, Kate wore a blue Issa wrap dress that perfectly matched her blue sapphire engagement ring. Now that's style! During the Duchess's first royal tour after her wedding, she chose many local British designs for her public appearances and events. She rocked pieces by Jenny Packham, Alice Temperley, L.K. Bennett, Roxanda Ilinchik, and Erdem. She chose outfits from some other well-known British designers as well, such as Alexander McQueen, Burberry, and Roland Moray. Pieces she wore on the tour became instant bestsellers for the various fashion houses and brands. But her influence doesn't only extend to big-name designers. Luckily for those who don't have a room full of crown jewels or an endless royal bank account, Kate considers aspects of sustainability and accessibility when putting together her outfits and wardrobes. That's right, this different kind of duchess doesn't exclusively wear Givenchy, Rodart, and Chanel. She's often seen hopping from castle to castle wearing tops and jackets from Zara, Topshop, and Marks & Spencer, three mid-price range brands in the UK. For a royal engagement last year, Kate rocked a gorgeous houndstooth dress from Zara. She paired the look with a coat by Alexander McQueen. Later that same month, she proved her love of the affordable shop when she stepped out in a leopard print skirt from Zara that sells for only $13, paired with a luxury level coat from Massimo Duty in caramel colored cashmere. Kate also loves her red Zara blazer that retailed for $99 when she first picked it up in 2012. When Kate decides to pull on a pair of trousers or coat from the mall, she becomes more than just the wife of a prince. She's relatable, a busy mom and woman. Early in her royal career, the Duchess was seen out and about at times wearing casual jeans. Kate's choice of denim became a sought-after trend, prompting fans to buy out her favorite Hudson jeans and J-brand 811s. When she went grocery shopping, her shoulders draped in a mini rose shawl. Orders rushed in from fans all over the UK and the US who wanted the exact shawl in the exact color worn by Kate. She was also a fan of the small brand designer in the UK called Rice, which struggled to keep up with Kate-influenced orders that were coming in at a rate of one per minute. When the Duchess wore a dress by the designer during a visit with the Obamas in 2011, the Rice website actually crashed. Other casual pieces such as wedges also became popular after being rocked by the Duchess. In 2011, Kate graced publicity shots with her husband while wearing a cute pair of black patent wedge heels by L.K. Bennett in London. 
The style, which was previously called the Greta, was rebranded that spring as Wedges Fit for a Duchess and even renamed the Kate. You can probably guess that the style, which retailed for around $265, flew off the shelves and that every woman in London was rocking the wedge look that summer. Kate also has a gorgeously flattering white and blue floral dress by L.K. Bennett that she's worn on multiple occasions over the years. Her classic style became a part of her signature look. When she's not rocking the red carpet or entertaining the company of foreign officials, Kate tends to dress simple and chic and nails it every time. I mean, who can make a regular puffer jacket look this good? Kate's style is so easy to copy because she pairs simple trousers with blazers, jackets, and fitted sweaters. It's all about the elegant lines and classic silhouettes for this duchess. One of Kate's go-to looks is an A-line midi dress with long sleeves and belted waist. You really can't go wrong with this look. And the best part is that this looks good on everyone. The long sleeves fit into the conservative traditions of the royals, and Kate is able to modernize the long dresses with fun and bold prints and patterns, and floral designs, the best of both worlds. Not only does Kate care about wearing accessible and affordable fashion, she also knows that with a well-stocked wardrobe, some classic pieces can be worn again and again. The Duchess continues to reach for her bright red blazer and skirt suit from Luisa Spagnoli. She's also rocked this custom coat by designer Amelia Wickstead a few times. She knows a good piece when she sees it. She has this chic dress by the same designer in pink and blue. Another Kate favorite is British designer Jenny Packham, whose dresses the Duchess usually wears multiple times, giving them the time in the spotlight that these beaded gowns deserve. Kate actually wore this full-length Packham gown on three separate occasions. The Duchess also owns a super versatile bright blue shift by Stella McCartney that she's managed to make work for endless events and appearances. The Duchess simply styles the dress with blazers and accessories to create entirely new looks. Investing in classic, timeless pieces like Kate's peacock blue McQueen coat or her cream coat by Katherine Walker that can be restyled multiple times is a sustainable way to always look trendy and put together. Fans love seeing Kate recycling fashion, showing that she has favorite outfits, just like the rest of us, and doesn't feel the need to wastefully purchase new pieces for every event. Duchess or Influencer For the modern Kate Middleton, Duchess of Cambridge, the two are one and the same. It's always been a secondary, although some would argue first, responsibility of the royal family to encourage their subjects in the world of fashion trends and style. Kate is no exception and has been impressing the public and her fans since first appearing on the arm of her future husband, who just happened to be a Prince of England. Anything that Kate chooses to wear to events and public appearances instantly creates trends and prompts people to head to the shops to search for similar styles and brands. Some might even argue she has more influence over fashion than Hollywood stars, models, or designers themselves. In early 2020, Kate actually outranked her sister-in-law and the Queen in a survey of the top royal fashion icon. Kate's influence over fashion trends is undeniable and owed to her skills at blending the traditional styles of the monarchy to the modern cuts and looks of the season. More recently, Kate has extended her love of whimsical floral prints with adorable printed face masks. The couple's Instagram recently made a post honoring Kate's 39th birthday, with an image showing the Duchess sporting a blue and white protective mask. Leave it to the Duchess to prove that even being safe against the virus can look fashionable. For her recent birthday, Kate celebrated at home with her family, having a DIY tea party with the kids. The family's Instagram shared, Thank you for your kind wishes on the Duchess's birthday. Birthdays have been very different in recent months, and our thoughts continue to be with all those working on the front line at this hugely challenging time. A big reason that Kate can have such an impact on buyers and trends is that people love her. Ever since joining the royal family, Kate has been a fan favorite because of her likability. Although she follows the laws of her in-laws and royal protocols to a T, something about Kate is more approachable. Kate seems more like one of us because she didn't grow up in a royal environment like her husband. Born in Reading to an upper-middle-class family, Kate was one of three kids. Although her father had ties to the British aristocracy, her family was self-made, having started a private mail delivery company in the 80s. Growing up, Kate Middleton played field hockey and lived a fairly normal childhood. She studied art history at the University of St. Andrews and worked as a part-time waitress while in school. In her years prior to marriage, Kate also worked as an accessory buyer for Jigsaw, a clothing company, as well as a curator for photography publications before joining her family's business in the catalog and art department. 
Meghan Markle isn't the only royal whose life and wardrobe changed drastically upon joining Team Buckingham. Before her royal days of massive closets and professional stylists, Kate was already a fashion pro. With an eye for art, she had an early talent for putting together flattering outfits, even on a budget. Growing up in the countryside, she was a fan of jeans, riding boots, and cropped blazers. In her 20s, Kate loved a good simple white tank, sundress, and classic cardigans. She even rocked cowboy boots in her university years. When Kate gained fame as a royal girlfriend, she not only ditched her job, she also most likely packed a few bags for goodwill. Cowboy boots are great and all, but who can blame her for trading them in for some Gian Vitos and Jimmy Choo's? There are plenty of reasons to love Kate. Aside from her impeccable style and the fantastic fairy tale of her love life, she comes off as warm, elegant, and accessible. Her fans also love her devotion to her family and kids. Who doesn't love a sweet, nurturing mom with great style? The Cambridges' popularity was also helped along when they hired a new social media manager back in March of 2020. The couple's Instagram feed, which now has over 12 million followers, became interesting with more candid shots and intimate looks at their royal family life. The quick growth of the page increased their reach, while also giving the Duchess that much bigger of a platform for her fashion influence. As the Duke and Duchess of Sussex, aka Meghan and Harry, decided to step back from their official roles, Kate took on the extra load as the main female figurehead for the extended royal family. Kate is also known to pick up the camera once in a while and photograph her kids during family events, images that are sometimes shared on their new Instagram. This idea has both allowed the Duchess to practice her love of art and also cut down on the insistence of paparazzi clamoring for new photos of the royal toddlers. To better connect with the public, Kate has adopted a few tricks from the Queen's handbook. When she first became Duchess, Kate was often seen copying the Queen's signature wrist flick wave. Since then, she's developed her own arm greeting that looks a lot more like a friendly hi. Much like Princess Diana, Kate often heads straight for the crowd, engaging with her fans, and of course, letting them get an up-close look at her daily fit. The public's love and admiration of the Duchess's style can only be compared to the style icon that came before her. Lady Di's sense of effortless style was accented by the vulnerability she shared with the world. Kate's outfits have often channeled Diana's influential looks in the sense that they have changed the history of fashion. Kate's long, simple coats, classic yet colorful suits, tailored pants, and fitted blazers are a page right out of the late Princess Diana's style book. The Duchess has emulated Diana's fashion choices on more than one occasion, paying homage to one of the biggest fashion influencers of all time. In 1985, the young Diana was photographed wearing a polka dot dress with a white collar, and in 2018, Kate wore a very similar style for Prince Charles' birthday portraits. Again, when presenting baby Louis at the hospital, the Duchess wore a dress that mirrored Diana's red dress and coat worn when leaving the hospital with baby Harry. What a beautiful tribute. Time and time again, Kate respectfully recreates the timeless style of Lady Di. It's no wonder that these two women have been compared for their great taste and effortless looks. Since becoming a major player in the royal family, Kate's looks and fashion have grown up. We've been able to watch her transition from new duchess finding her style to the future queen with a sense of style able to effortlessly blend traditional and modern fashions. She's evolved from copy and pasting the queen's straight-cut classic suits to embellishing her wardrobe with more feminine pieces, patterns, prints, and different shapes. Kate's style has evolved before our eyes, but her trustworthy taste is here to stay. The Duchess continues to be adored by all, even as a gorgeous Hollywood star joined the extended family. Over the years, Kate has maintained her good position with the public through multiple charities and different ways to give back. In September of 2020, she used her background in art and photography when she launched the Hold Still project. The exhibit showcases 100 portraits of Britons during the COVID-19 lockdowns. The Duchess's efforts to applaud the community's commitment to slowing the spread of the virus were met with positive reviewers, even from the Queen, who stated, It was with great pleasure that I had the opportunity to look through a number of the portraits. The images were exhibited through the National Portrait Gallery, for which the Duchess is a patron. The Duchess involves herself in multiple charities that further prove her strong connection to the people of the UK and around the world, her main charity being the Royal Foundation of the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge. She has a number of patronages related to fashion and the arts, including the National Portrait Gallery and the National History Museum, as well as the Art Room, a program that helps children express themselves through art therapy. 
Although we may never step inside Buckingham Palace or take high tea with the Queen, we can still know what it feels like to dress like a royal. Kate Middleton's style has changed the way that we shop and buy pieces for our wardrobes. Her influence on fashion has had such an impact that many fans keep a close eye on the royal family just to see what Kate will wear next. Do you think Kate does a good job of keeping her wardrobe accessible to her fans? Let us know what you think about the Duchess's fashion choices in the comments and subscribe to The Taco for more great videos about today's most influential fashion trendsetters.